Hello guys, welcome to the course. In chapter zero, we'll be seeing what are the table of contents. In that, we'll see what are the different topics that we'll be seeing throughout this course. So basically, on chapter one, I will explain you about how to install Python and Anaconda on your Windows machine. I will also give you a guide and references to install on your Linux and Mac OSs. Then I will be explaining you what are the identifiers and operators. I will be explaining what are the different data types in Python. Then I will explain you what are the controlling flow statements. So basically when I am talking about conditional flow, these are nothing but if else, for and while loops. Whenever I am talking about transfer statements, these are nothing but break and continue statements. When I am talking about iterative statements, also I will be talking about pass statements. After that, I will explain you what are the different operations that we can perform on strings, how you can play with the strings, what are the different interview questions that uh, you will be encountering during your Python interviews. Then I will be explaining you different data types like what are list, tuple, seat, and dictionaries, how to tackle those, what are the inbuilt functions that are there with those data types. After that, we'll see how to create a functions, what are functions, what are classes. Then I'll explain you what are the modules and packages. So we'll see this one by one. It will be a good journey to learn by doing codes side by side. But before that, I would like to ask you why you wanted to learn Python. I understand because Python is easier language to learn. Apart from that, Python has faster code development speed. So it has a rich set of libraries. There are different libraries that you must have heard about, Pandas, NumPy. There are different libraries like Esquilon. There are different libraries like TensorFlow and so on. So each of these libraries are useful in different applications that we'll see. Um, before that, uh, Python is used in data sciences, machine learning and scientific computing. Python is an interpreted and object-oriented high-level programming language. When I'm seeing Interpreted, that means one line at a time can be interpreted. Just for an example, if you wanted to print hello world, in Java programming language, it will take seven lines of your code. In C, it will take five, but in Python, there is an inbuilt function called print. By using that inside a round bracket in double quotes or single quote, you can write your string and it will just give that output in your console. So that way, Python is interpreted and whatever uh, the classes, objects, whatever the thing that you are doing in Python, those are nothing but objects. So that's why Python is object-oriented programming language. So we also see what are the OOPs concepts and how to write the codes in Python with those. Right? We in Python, we have a huge community. It is a cross-platform and a large ecosystem. With that, whenever I am saying cross-platform, whatever .py file you are making in Windows machine can be used in Linux machine as well. Now, there are different applications in desktop applications. There are different libraries we use that are nothing but GUI and TK inter libraries. In web application, there are different Python frameworks like Flask and Django. Then we have database application, network programming, developing games. We have Unity for data analysis, machine learning, IoT, and AI. For those, we already have seen Eskelon. TensorFlow and different libraries, right? So these are different applications that we have with Python. That's why it is important to learn Python programming language and that is it upon chapter 0. In next chapter, I'll explain you how to install Python and Anaconda on your machine. So see you soon there. Thank you for your time.